But let me show you wow. this, Cynthia. Look at this. What is Upside Down? It's a new movie, I guess. Inside Out. Oh, Inside Out. <laughs> I was just testing inside to see out. if you would know. Inside it's Inside Out. out. Too? Yes. Thank you. Meteorologist Kyle Roberts. He still is here. doesn't know what it he's, is. He's the Cynthia interpreter. Uh, so here we go. Let's go down into the, uh, the, le the lesser Antilles, the greater Antilles. You see why they're greater? and lesser, smaller, bigger, greater, lesser. That's where uh, uh, this system made landfall, barrel made landfall about 10 o'clock this morning. It's now moved to the uh, west of the Lesser Antilles. Category four, winds of 150 to 185. Uh, landfall was at 1010 this morning as a category four winds of 150. It moved across the northern part of the islands here in the Grenada. And as it moved across there, I mean, there's not a whole lot of land to weaken it, so it didn't weaken at all. But it does weaken as it moves through the northern portion of the Caribbean, then into the western Caribbean. Should stay south of uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, but some impacts certainly could be felt there. Uh, I've had a lot of folks uh, uh, tweet me over the weekend, say, hey, I'm, I'm going to uh, Cancun uh, on Saturday or Friday. Well, here's landfall sometime Friday morning uh, I mean, in situations like this, number one, I don't go to the Caribbean during the summer because this is the kind of stuff that happens. Once in a while you get lucky and that doesn't happen. But I would make uh, your d definitive plan on going or not going as late as possible. If your plan is to go Saturday morning, make that decision Friday night once you can see what's taking place here because I've been in a lot of hurricanes in, in my professional career and the last thing, it's the aftermath, the ongoing problem is what's taking place with the wind and the rain and then the aftermath. I mean, there's no power, especially in some of these locations in, in Mexico. So that's the landfall, landfall number two. Landfall number three right now is probably right around Tampico, Mexico, the end of the weekend, the early part of next week. All, most of the models, there's the second landfall, then another landfall down around the central Mexico coast. So that's the way that it looks. Uh, otherwise, we just have another heat advisory that's in effect through at least Tuesday, most likely through the 4th of July itself on Thursday. High today was 100, the normal high is 94, so we were six hotter than normal, but we didn't make it to a record. Thankfully, that was 109 back in 1980. The morning low was a miserable 83 degrees. 82 is my low tonight, warm and muggy. We'll hit 102 tomorrow, the heat index, the heat advisory stays in effect. Heat index values tomorrow 105 to 110. There's the cool down. Look at that, Cynthia. 97 on Friday. There's a 94 on Saturday, 96 on Sunday, Yay. 97 on Monday, and a little bit of rain Friday, but mainly Friday night. And then there's our cool down to follow on Saturday. The final seven of the 14 days, we keep a little bit of rain in the forecast those other four days. And then the following weekend, we're back up to upper 90s, close to 100. So a little bit cooler this weekend than back to the heat the following weekend. Kids.